another video. Today we have Del Taco. So we have the new stuffed quesadilla shrimp tacos. Um, just in time for Lent. <laughs> so they have they've been had the quesadilla stuffed tacos, but this is like I guess the first time they do the shrimp one. They have a regular one and then they have a guacamole one. Um, and then they just have cabbage, um, pico de gallo, secret sauce, and then um, this is the guacamole one has guacamole. Um, and we're also trying the Oreo horchata shake and then the Mexican chocolate shake. These two were out last summer, but we never got around to try them. So now we're just going to kind of throw them in there as a bonus. Um, but we'll start with the tacos. Okay. All right. So which? Uh, you can't really tell which one's which because it has a little bit of guacamole, but let's do the one without guacamole and then. Okay. That's fine. Right, so has a little lime with it, hmm. and I said no pico because I don't like pico de gallo. <laughs> no pico de gallo. Why? What is pico de gallo for this? Domain? Onion. I don't like that. Cilantro. I don't like that. And tomato. He doesn't like that. No. <laughs> and then it just like with lime. I think. Oh, it's not. This lime isn't that good. We have other ones. It's okay. You can get this bite right here. Okay. There you go. I don't usually put. Oh, uh, do I? What? I don't know. Put lime in shrimp tacos. We don't really have shrimp tacos, huh? We got more fish tacos, but shrimp sometimes it's rare though. I'm gonna have my lime ready. Okay. Oh, I guess I can just bite the other end, huh? Oh, I don't see that. Okay. Here we go. I don't like it. I had like a whole piece of shrimp. <laughs> I'll be honest, though, it wasn't as cheesy as I thought, but it is really good. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. Did you get a lot of cheese? No, but the shrimp. It's really good. Huh? The sauce, yes. We fire. love the secret sauce from there. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I think you you are gonna get more cheese. Though. I think that middle part, <gasps> you could see it. Mm. Look, show it. Mm. The cheese right here between the, the tortillas. Mm -hmm. That part has a lot of cheese. My part didn't have too much. But that looks like a good bite. Yeah. That mm -hmm. looks like a really good bite. <laughs> no, nah, I, I taste it. God, let, me, let me have that bite. Mm -hmm. You put some lime? <laughs> yeah. But it's really, really good. Okay. Like, these, like I said, they're perfect for Lent. Oh my god. Delicious. Right? Okay, five out of five. Mm -hmm. And you said that's the one without guacamole. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah, five out of five. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so now, I guess let me put some lime on this one. But that one looks really messy because of the sauce and the guacamole. Oh, yeah. yeah. But does it look cheesy? Does it look cheesy? That's the most important part. Well, yeah, in it's the, tough because it is. In the middle. Toward the middle. So, do you want me to take the first bite? Sure. Okay. So, but that side that has a guacamole, no? Yeah. Make sure you maybe move a shrimp so that do you have a bite of it too. I do have a bite. Oh. It's staring right at me. <laughs> and my soul. Oh come on. Our man. limes are not. They only give us this little tiny sliver. Oh, you can use this one. This one's uh, juicy. Okay. So we had to get our own limes, but <laughs> they're good. so hard. How's that one? Do I get better with the? Oh, you don't want to say, huh? I just wait. I'll decide for myself. <laughs> Honestly, though, I I like um. I was gonna say avocado. I like avocado, but I don't really like my stuff with avocado. Like I kind of just mm. like the sauce. I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But you're the one that usually gets guacamole on stuff. I and don't. avocado. But I don't. Yeah. So I feel like even though I like avocado, I'm probably not gonna like it more than. I even add avocado <laughs> to things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. okay. This looks really messy, but let's see. Oh, that's it. <laughs> nah, there we go. Yeah, I'll be honest. I like the guacamole one more. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. And that's the first thing I I tasted. I tasted the the guacamole, then the secret sauce, yeah. then the shrimp, 
then the lettuce. The cheese at the and end. Then the cheese, <laughs> yeah, cheese and lettuce at the end. Look what I got, but you can't see it, but it's the end of the avocado. <gasps> hey! That little piece that usually falls off. Yo, taco. Oh, we'll yeah. bit into it, too. Let me show them. <laughs> Let me show them. Here it is. But it is really good, though. With I that secret sauce all over it. <laughs> Surprisingly, I would pick the avocado one too, the guacamole one. You know, I'm not really into that. Five out of five. Five out of five. What? Wow. Okay. Okay, now the shakes. I don't really know about the chocolate one because I think it's just supposed to be like horchata this flavor. One? Uh huh, horchata flavor with like chocolate syrup. So I don't know. Chocolate or chata sounds kind of weird. I never had it. Me neither. Um, but Oreo sounds kind of weird too, but surprisingly appetizing. It's because we're used to that, like color of chata, it's almost the same. Maybe that's the, why. The, it looks like a regular cookies and cream shake. It does as well, yeah. Um, and I, I love horchata. So, I'm excited for the shake. I'm excited but nervous because I don't know how that'll, like, is it going to have that cinnamon flavor? That's going to be weird. Ooh. Let me smell if it smells like cinnamon. I can't really smell right now. <sighs> it doesn't smell like cinnamon, it just smells like a lot, a lot of um, Oreo. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for that cinnamon taste, that Oreo taste. You do taste horchata. Not a strong cinnamon flavor, mm -mm. but you get like that. Kind of reminds me of um, arroz con leche. Right? Okay, so the first thing I taste is horchata. Mm hmm and then I, I get those pieces of Oreo. Once you take a bite of them, then you get that chocolate getting melted into the horchata. But it doesn't taste like a regular, like an authentic Oreo. Like obviously I know they're using real Oreos, but I'm trying to say that the horchata flavor overpowers the Oreo, mm -hmm. which it, it is really good. There. Wow, I, it, actually, it works. Yeah, yeah, I expected like just the cookies and cream flavor, mm -hmm. but this one is really, really good. Take another sip. <laughs> of course. You're kind of hugging it. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna give it a five out of five as well i really like and it's not too sweet uh, i should have tried this last summer i know right i'm gonna give it a five okay super right. good i wonder i don't know if it went away and then came back i think it did actually it well i don't remember seeing it on the menu i remember it was the last week of school that's why we didn't film it because we were busy during the last week of school <laughs> Finals, grading. Uh. Yeah. All right. So this is horchata with chocolate. I don't know. Let's see. Horchata with chocolate. I mean, this has chocolate, but I don't know if that really counts. It's not as sweet as I thought. It doesn't. I also kind of expected to remind me of like the chocolate abuelita. Like the Mexican mm. hot chocolate, but it doesn't. Mm. I, I like it. I'm not, okay. Also, I'm not a big fan of chocolate drinks. Like chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Chocolate shake. I'm not either, but that's what I'm trying to say. It's not as um sweet or like overpowering. I don't know how to describe it. But it does not taste like a regular chocolate shake. It also doesn't really taste like horchata to me. There's, yeah. a, there's a hint. Like yes, I taste it, but not not as much as a, in this drink. Not as much, but it's there. I know it's there. I know it tastes more like horchata than chocolate. Yes, to me. Oh. I like it. Nah, no, I don't really like it. What are you gonna give it? Oh, I mean, it's it's good enough to drink it. Yeah, like you wouldn't get it again. No, I wouldn't get it. Again. But it's it's good enough. I'll give it a three. What are you gonna give? You wouldn't get it again. <laughs> no, I wouldn't get it again. I'll give it a four. Man, kind of even borderline five <laughs> because this is one of the only chocolate shakes I feel like I would actually get again. I don't like chocolate shakes, but because this is not too sweet or very chocolatey flavor, yeah, it's not really chocolate either. I like it. I'm kind of with you. I wish we would have tried them last year, <laughs> That's true. but glad we tried them now. So, definitely try the tacos, they're super good. Um, guacamole one better, and then are the shakes Oreo or Tata better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. Please subscribe and smash that like button, and we'll see you guys next time.